on this little shot here, I'm just going to show what happens when I hook a small light bulb directly across this, the output of this coil here, which is these two little, two primary coils from a microwave oven transformer connected in series. So here's what happens. And in time, this wheel should stall. At least it did in another experiment I did. So I can tell it's starting to slow down. We'll see how long this takes. It's happening pretty quick. Pretty quick here. As you can see, I hope you can see it's really slowed down here, almost to a stalling speed. And the light bulb is probably barely visible. So what I'm going to do now, take the light bulb off, and I'm just going to hook this, spin this wheel up again. And then I'm going to short out this coil. And we'll see. This might take a few minutes to actually stall, or it may not stall at all. So there, it's shorted out. Probably not the most exciting video, but I hope it makes or proves a point. Or makes it uh, evident that there are cases where electricity can be generated from a coil like this and actually uh, the coil. with it being shorted out or having a very, very low impedance as a load, it actually produces less resistance or less drag on the magnets passing by. Probably about where it'll stay in terms of speed. It is slowing down. There we go. Now it's starting to die out. So yeah, it's interesting. It's almost like it uh, doesn't make any difference at all whether I have a light bulb on it or whether I'm shorting it out. It seems to perform about the same. And uh, I know I don't have a stopwatch on here uh, showing exactly how much time. Uh, that's a bit more of an elaborate experiment to do, but this is just a kind of a quick demonstration. Thanks.